Okay, so as I said, welcome once again to our session uh, this morning. Our, if you take a look at the modules that we're dis going to discuss for this uh, course, for this subject, there are six modules. Uh, for the, after the first two modules, we'll have our, we'll, we're going to have our first quiz. Our first module will be all about introduction to financial management. Later on, I'm going to uh, tell you about our learning objectives. After that, we're going to do financial statement preparation, analysis, and interpretation. Mostly analysis and interpretation. Okay, so after these two, two modules, we'll have our first quiz. So what we're going to do is, uh, uh, as uh, agreed upon, with, with I, I don't want to be monopolizing the discussion. I, want, I don't want to be just doing the talking. So we will engage in activities, uh, and then we're going to... Uh, for example, we ha we'll have uh, group activities, we'll have individual activities. So for today, we're going to have a sort of an IQ test, an IQ test of uh, uh, how you recall, what do you recall about the, uh, your lessons about financial statements and some basic, basic concepts about finance. So we're going to uh, have our first Kahoot uh, quiz today. And what will happen is that all the uh, exercises, all the activities we'll have, we will collate them. I'm going to accumulate your scores. And then at the end of the term, I'm going to convert your, your accumulated scores into percentage and then treat it as a bonus to your final grade. The bonus will be treated, will be considered as in terms of percentage. So for example, if you got, for example, for your final grade, you have, you got 92%. And the maximum bonus that I'll be giving is 5%. So from a 92%, which is 3, you can get a 4. Because if I add 5, that will turn out to be around 97. So that will turn out to be uh, a grade of 4. Okay, so uh, this is a, a good bonus, guys. Kasi percentage yung ano nito. Siyempre, hindi, lang, hindi lahat 5%. Depende rin sa effort nyo. So graduated siya 5%, 4%, uh, 3%. Uh, minimum siguro gawin natin 2%. Para kahit pa paano may ano may chance kayo na itaas yung level ng, ng scores nyo. But the maximum will be 5%. Okay? So for today, we'll have our first, uh, let's say, uh, financial literacy uh, uh, self-test. So we're going to have this Kahoot. Okay? So may I invite you to uh, open your Kahoot, kahoot.it, okay? w.kahoot.it. And then let's load this game pin, 5816981. Kindly write your family name first and then first name, okay? Family name first and then first name. There should be around 25, 25 of you. I, I don't think uh, some are still here. So all activities like this, guys, they will be given, be given usually at the beginning of, the, uh, of our class session. So that will encourage you to also come on time. Okay, are there others still trying to log in? Meron pa ba tayo? 28, 27. So meron pa tayo mga dapat 27 tayo dito, no? Okay, so three more. I'll give you a few more seconds, guys. 28 participants uh, I think that includes me so you're 27 here now okay a few seconds and then we'll start okay thank you so there are 20 questions here so uh, 20 points you can get a possible uh, 
total score of 20 points. No? Okay, so let's uh, we'll begin in 10 seconds. Okay, so let's start guys. Let's start with the first question, 20 questions. Some of them uh, have uh, 20 seconds, a time limit, and a few have uh, a few have 30 second time limit. So let's start. So question number one. The company's balance sheet shows the values of assets, liabilities, and stockholders' equity. Okay. So the answer is, oops, nobody got it. Okay, let's see why. Most of you answered at the end of the calendar year. Well, that might be true for some companies. It might, it's not true for other companies. Remember that a, uh, the balance sheet of a company can be, can be uh, uh, let's say, prepared either at the end of the calendar year or at the end of the fiscal year. So this is the one in red. So we cannot generalize okay, for any of these two. That's why the correct answer is at a specific point in time, okay? It can be at the end of a calendar year, which is December 31, or it can be at the end of any other year, any other date other than December 31. So the correct answer is, uh, because this is, a, this is a generalization, it's a, at a specific point in time. Uh, the blue one, this one, for a, any given period of time, this is not correct because a balance sheet is always stated uh, uh, from the reference point of a specific point in time. So, pag given period, income statement na yan, o kaya cash flow. Period of time, kunyari for the whole year, for the whole month. So, you're talking of a particular period of time, yun ang income statement or statement of cash flows. Okay? So, specific point in time, balance sheet yan. So, nobody got it? Okay? Pero you have still have a chance to 19 questions pa. So, wala pa tayong scores, ano? Next, next question. Main objective of a business organization. Ano nga ba, guys? Main objective of a business organization. Okay, and the answer is, guys, the answer is, nobody got it. <laughs> Una, mukhang, uh, ano, uh, guys, uh, uh, laban tayo, laban, uh. nobody got it. Now, we're asking here, sandali, my, my question, uh, ang objective, chat, wasted. <laughs> it's okay, Basti, pwede yan, may 18 questions pa tayo, no? Don't be too hard on yourself, kain kain natin yan. Okay, it's not profit maximization. Am I saying that profit maximization is not an objective? Uh, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the main objective. Okay? So, hindi dapat profit maximization ang main objective. Hindi dapat cost minimization. Neither is it satisfying customers. Okay, these are all very important objectives, but they should not be the main objective. The main objective is to maximize the stock price of the company or maximize shareholder value. <clears throat> we'll, we're, we're going to discuss that later uh, this uh, this this day. Okay? So, eh, bawi pa tayo guys. Ah, 18 questions pa to. I'm sure sa susunod na question, may, may itatama taan na tayo dito. Okay, next question. Next question. Which of the following statements is correct? Wow, ah, yun na. 
Ito na, sunod-sunod na tayo nito. No? So most of you got it, 16. Okay, bakit mali si number 2? Si CFO, guys, hindi siya above the CEO. Usually, si CEO, CEO siya yung pinaka-top. No? And then, uh, usually, nagre-report sa kanya si CFO. Okay, also, the chairman of the board must also be the CEO. In some cases, kadalasan ganun, pero not, all in, not, in, not in all cases. Pwede yung, uh, pwede yung chairman of the board, hindi siya yung CEO. Tapos, the CFO, the chief financial officer, General reports to the controller. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. Iba yung controller, iba yung CFO. Okay? The board of directors is the highest ranking body in a corporation. That's true. No? That's true. So, ito yung tamang answer and most of you got it. Very good. So, let's go now to the next question. So far, ang nangungunan sa atin, si Mario with 870 points, 877, followed by the others. Yung mga podium finishers natin kung apat na to. Okay, so next, question number four. Money markets are markets for? So six got the correct answer. Okay, discuss natin to ah. Uh, number ten, number uh, ten of you answered foreign currencies. Uh, that's not the answer, guys. No, uh, money markets are markets. Uh, ano ba yung market in the first place? A market is a place. No, it's a facility, whether physical, pwedeng physical yan, or pwedeng virtual, pwedeng online lang yan, where buyers and sellers meet. Iba yun ang market. No, so. Meron tayong stock market. Meron tayong market where kung saan tayo bumibili ng mga goods. So that's really the, defin the definition of a market. But we're, we're dealing with financial markets. So pag financial markets, guys, maraming klase yan. Meron tayong money markets. Money markets uh, are uh, is a place or is a uh, well physical or digital location where the, the trade no? trading of short-term securities are conducted. Okay, may nag-chat? Okay. <laughs> Money monster. <laughs> Thank you. Bas Basi, I like that. <laughs> Cookie markets. <laughs> oh, okay yan, okay yan. Sige, just keep on those uh, those comments coming. Maganda yan. Enjoy yan tayo. Di ba sabi natin, fun tayo, no? Di ba? Okay, so, balik tayo sa money markets. Ha? Yung money markets, guys, short-term securities ang trinitrade dyan. Okay, example. Commercial paper. Ano yung commercial paper? Okay. Sino yung nag-i-issue ng commercial paper? Ang commercial paper, guys, are short-term loans. No? Kunyari, si San Miguel. San Miguel Corporation or si Globe Telecom. Pwede siya mag-issue ng commercial paper. Ano yan? Parang uutang siya ng a certain amount na payable uh, uh, within one year. No? Within one year. So, yung commercial paper, guys, uh, mababa yung risk niyan kasi usually ang nag- nag-iisu niyan ma mga malalaking companies no and uh, and since malalaking companies sila yung capability nila to buy is uh, hindi na ka question okay marcus mamaya na lang ha okay it's okay marcus mamaya na lang yung attendance no okay so commercial paper guys sino nag-iisu nito mga companies mga firms how about treasury sino nag-iisu guys ang treasury kasi ang treasury ano din yan short term loans din yan no and they are Tradable yan sa market. So, sa money market, kunyari may treasury bill ka, pwede mong ibenta yan sa market. No? So, may, may bibili yan. No? Siyempre, yung presyo, pag, pag ano pa yan, yung uh, that will be decided upon. No? So, ano yung treasury bill? Pag sinabing treasury, guys, sino nag i yan? Sige nga, pakichat. po. Yes, thank you. Sino taon? Sino, sino nag-answer? Si Kailu po. Ah, sorry, ano pangalan? Kailu po. Kailu, Kailu. Yes okay. po. Kailu, thank you so much. You're correct. Ang treasury bills, guys, ang nag i niyan, government. So, government ang humihiram. So, if you take a look at the, uh, for example, sa Philippine setting, meron tayong mga, kunyari, 30-day treasury bill, 60 days, 91-day treasury bill, 180 days, 360-day treasury bill. So, ito short-term borrowing ng government. Okay, question. Sino mas risky? Si commercial paper o si treasury bill? Sa tingin nyo, guys, Sino mas risky from the perspective of the investor? 
kung mag invest ako sa commercial paper o sa treasury bill, where will I be assuming a greater amount of risk? Okay, treasury ba, Hans? Thank you for your answer, Hans. Pero, ang mas risky si commercial paper. Bakit? Kasi, pag ang gobyerno ang humihiram, mas ano, mas para nakasandal ka sa powder, sigurado kang ano, sigurado kang babayaran yan. Mas risky pag ang humiram yung yung company, yung private firm, di ba? Do you agree, guys, na, ka, na mas risky si commercial paper kaysa kay treasury bills? Do you agree? Pakichat nga kung yes or no. Kasi government ang humihiram versus, kunyari, si Globe Telecoms. Siyempre, mas may, may capability to, to pay si, ano, si gobyerno. Okay? So, but thank you, Hans, for offering that answer. Part of the learning process natin yan. Okay, pakihas nga, guys, kung clear, kung, mas ris kung naintindihan natin yung concept na mas, mas risky si, ano, si, uh, si commercial paper kaysa kay, ano, kaysa kay uh, treasury bill. Okay, good. good. Yung iba, Okay. Thank you. Uh, sabi ko nga guys, paki ano ha, paki salita tayo sa mga feedback pag nagtatanong ako. Now, meron pa isang treasury, yung treasury bonds, B O N D S. Government din humihiram noon kaso it's more than 1 year. So treasury bills less than 1 year, 1 year to less than 1 year, treasury bonds more than 1 year. So anong difference sila? Yung isa traded sa money market, yung isa naman traded sa capital markets. Yun ang difference, no? So money markets versus capital markets, ang difference nila, one is for short term, the other one is for long term. Okay? So common stock guys, hindi yan money market, capital market siya. Although na sa, sa stock market rin trade yan, but uh, stock markets are considered as part ng capital markets. Okay? Hindi rin foreign currency guys, kasi ang foreign currency, ibang market yan. No? It's not a money market. Foreign currency are traded in the foreign exchange market, forex market yan. Consumer automot automobile loans, loans yan, hindi siya, hindi siya markets. No? Okay, so sa market guys, remember ang definition ng market, pwede, pwede matrade. So kunyari, meron akong treasury bills. Pwede kong ibenta yun sa market. Merong bibili yan. No? May mga bibili. No? Tapos so, merong buying and selling dun sa market natin. Money markets. Okay, I hope that's clear. Next question. So, okay, so si Mario, still number one. And then nag, nagbabago tong uh, ibang podium finishes natin. Ashley, highest climber daw. Five places si Ashley. Okay, let's go to the next question. Question number five. Which of the following is an example of a capital market instrument? Okay, wow, good. Okay, most of you got it. I'm happy. Kasi in-explain ko pa lang kanina to, di ba? Ang common stock, ang preferred stock, ang mga 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 long-term ano, long-term securities. Ano 'yan? Capital market 'yan. Commercial paper, sabi natin kanina, money market 'yan. Treasury bill, money market 'yan. Bankers acceptance or bills of exchange is also a money market instrument. Ano ba 'yung bankers acceptance? Parang uh, isipin nyo parang check eh. No? Kunyari, nag-issue ako ng check uh, dated, let's say, dated uh, August 30, no? 2021, amount 1 million. So, yung check na in-issue ko, it's, it, it, it's a promise to pay. No? It's a promise to pay that amount on that specific date. Okay? Promise to pay na ako yung nag, nag, uh, ako nagpa-promise nun, no? dun sa, ano, sa, sa check na yun. Ganun din guys yung, ano, yung, yung bankers acceptance. Only that, yung bankers acceptance, ang nag issue niyan, yung mga bank. Yung bank mismo. Okay, so, therefore, guys, medyo uh, less yung risk nito kasi banko mismo yung nag-ano niyan. Eh, nag issue So, it's also like a promise to pay a certain amount. Short term yan within uh, a period of one year. Kaya nga, this is also a part of the money market. So, bankers ac acceptance, another name for that is bills of exchange. So, you're correct. Ang capital market instrument dito, Si common stock. Okay, that's very good. No? So let's go to the next question. So ano yung positioning natin? Mar, still number one. So medyo nagkaroon tayo ng counting changes. Highest streak, uh, number three. Correct answers na si Mark na sunod-sunod. Si Mario pa lang. 
Next question, question number six. On a balance sheet, retained earnings are not unspent cash because... Eight ang nakakuha na tamang answer. So, retained earnings, guys. Sandali, ha? buksan ko lang yung ano natin. I'll open our... Uh, wait, I'll open our... Okay, sandali lang, ha? I'll open our PowerPoint. Para makakapag-notes ako doon. Kasi I'll, I'll send you the PowerPoint copy para uh, para reference rin. Okay. Chapter 1A. So, this is for Module 1. In-split ko kasi yung... Module 1 natin into 1A and 1B kasi medyo mahaba din. Okay, so let me... Oops, sorry, bakit mga kaano to? Mali. Mali, ang nabuksan ko, PDF yung nabuksan ko, dapat yung PowerPoint. Okay, 1A, this one. Okay, <laughs> so alam natin guys na yung balance sheet, andun yung assets, yung resources, liabilities and equity. Pag sole proprietorship, yung equity natin doon, yung name of the individual lang. Kunyari, Juan de la Cruz Capital. Kapag partnership naman, several several partners, A Capital, B Capital, C Capital. Now, kapag corporation, medyo iba yung equity. So you either have ang pinaka-common, yung common stock, at saka yung retained earnings. So retained earnings form part of the, uh, retained earnings form part of the, uh, okay, so... Si retained earnings kasama siya sa equity side ng ano no ng uh, ng uh, ng balance sheet no and where does retain yung retained earnings guys parang ano yun eh parang uh, the the uh, analogy that i can use is sa sole proprietorship di ba nagge-generate ng income tapos yung net income na yan uh, it's flowed to flowed to uh, to the uh, income expense summary I'm sure na na ano yan nakuha niyan dun sa uh, adjusting entries closing entries ng ano ng ng uh, sole proprietorship na ano na firm. So dito guys, meron tayong ano ano net income after tax. Okay, net income after tax. Si net income after tax pupunta yan sa pag corporation sa retained either, sorry ah, dalawang pagpupuntahan niyan no. Either number one, and one guys san pupunta yung net income after tax? Dalawang pwedeng pagpuntahan yan. Number one, pwede siyang dalhin dito. Tapos yung isa, dalhin dito. Ano kaya yung D, guys? Any guess? Ano yung D? Ito yung... Ano binibigay ng companies? For example, blue chips. Lagi sila regularly. From their income, nagbibigay sila sa kanilang shareholders ng... Yes, any guess, guys? Letter D. Okay. Uh, may sumagot. Down payment. Okay. Uh, revenue. Any other guess? Thank you, Ken, for answering. But it's not down payment. Hans, thank you. But it's letter D, Hans. Okay, letter D ang simula. Hindi siya revenue. But however, it's what? It's paki-unmute lang, guys, kung pwede. Ano siya? Okay, dividend. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, um, Eva. So the answer, guys, is dividends. No? So yung retained earning, yung net income after tax, uh, depending on the decision of company, it can be distributed back to shareholders in the form of dividends or yung hindi distribute back to shareholders, it's it's what? It is retained no? in the form of retained earnings ang tawag doon. So yung amount na hindi binibigay sa mga uh, sa mga shareholders, lalo na kunyari kung may mga project yung company, mas maganda, uh, the, uh, the board with the uh, management uh, management will decide kung mag-distribute mag, mag, mag ba sila ng dividends or shall they use the, uh, the funds in order to flow it back to the operations and invest in, in worthwhile projects. No? So, ang tawag natin dyan, retained earnings. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Now, si retained earnings, ang question natin kanina, ikit natin to, 
Sabi natin si retained earnings mo daw are not unspent cash because they have been used to finance the firm's assets. So ito yung answer. No? Si retained earnings, hindi unspent yan. No? They're used to finance the firm's assets. Sabi ko nga kanina, it's flowed back to the operations para gamitin in order to, uh, for example, pwede may expansion o may new project na ginagawa yung company. Okay? So let's see what's the result now. So Mario is still uh, top here. So si Gail, tapos si Matt, Christian, and Pia. So let's keep in it coming, guys. Cheska, highest climber, 13 places din na si Cheska. Let's keep the uh, correct answers coming, guys. Next question, question number seven. Single most important accounting numbers income statement for managers and analysts. Okay, answer is good. Almost all of you got it. It's net income after tax. Think kanina yung niyat, no? Net income after tax. So it's not EBIT. EBIT is earning siya, pero hindi pa natin binabawas yung interest at saka taxes. Operating profit, earning siya, pero hindi pa binabawas yung, yung ano, yung uh, parang, ganun, parang ano din siya, no? Parang uh, uh, EBIT din siya. Pero itong operating profit, uh, hindi pa natin binabawas din dito yung, yung uh, financing charges. Okay? And then here, earnings available for common stockholders. Hindi ito. So the answer is net income after tax. 23 of you got it. So let's see. Kung may bago ba. Okay. So si Gail, medyo inunahan si Mario. Okay. The rest, tumataas din. Uh, Kailu, highest climber, four places. Okay. Let's keep the correct answers coming, guys. Next question. Question number eight. EPS is cal calculated by... Answer title, guys. Okay. Okay. So, at least majority of you, hindi naman pala majority, uh, a big number of you got it. <coughs> so, EPS, guys, tinan nyo yung pangalan, no? Earnings per share. Pag per, di ba, nagdi-divide tayo nyan, di ba? So, ito, net income after tax divided by ilang shares outstanding. So, ito yon, no? Earnings for common shares divided by the number of common shares outstanding. So, 10 of you got it? Okay. Yung iba, mali yung answer na to, di ba? Uh, so, next. Okay. So, nagbago ba? Okay. Nagbabago-bago yung ating mga podium finishers. Okay. Combo breaker, three players just dropped their answers three to three. No? Of three. Okay. That's good. Next question. Question number nine. Nag-increase those inventory. May expected sales to increase. Ano yung Okay, oo. Isa lang nakakuha ng answer. Okay. Now, bakit? Uh, number one, guys, itong si red at saka si blue, dapat out of the answer na to, out of the question na to, no? Kasi inventory to eh. Wala namang depreciation expense ang inventory. Ang, ang, uh, ang depreciation expense pang fixed assets lang yan. Tapos ang sabi, nag-increase daw ng inventory, ina-expect nila, ina-expect pa lang, no? Sales to increase. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa, na, hindi pa nag nagbebenta, no? So, most of you answered an inflow of cash. Uh, that's wrong, guys, kasi pag sinabi expectation pa lang ng sales, ibig sabihin, hindi pa nagmamaterialize yung pagbenta. Now, nag-increase yung inventory, ano ibig sabihin pag nag-increase ng inventory? Bumili ng inventory. Naglabas ng cash. Hindi pa nabebenta yun, no? Hindi pa nabebenta. Kung sana nabenta na to, then most probably ang answer, an inflow of cash. You know why? Kasi syempre, yung sales dapat natin, mas mataas sa cost of inventory. Imposible yung naman na binili natin yung item na 100, tapos ibebenta natin at 70. No? Hindi naman ganun. Normal course of business, binili natin yung item na 100, syempre ibebenta natin at a markup of, let's say, 50%. No? Kaya, kunyari, 150. 
So pag ganun yung case guys, na nabenta na, then it will be a net inflow of cash. Pero ito hindi pa, bumili pa lang ng inventory. So it should be an outflow of cash. Okay? So we have only one who got the correct answer. Okay, nagbago ba? Walang nagbago sa ano natin, ano? Uh, Clement is the highest climber. 11 places ang inakit ni Clement. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Next question. Arrange according to uh, how it appears in the balance sheet. Yung iba, no? Okay, so apat lang yung na nakakuha ng tamang answer. Tinan natin, bakit kaya 10? No? So, how are assets arranged in the balance sheet? Hindi naman alphabetical. Anong principle na ginagamit, guys, sa pag-arrange ng assets sa balance sheet? Anyone? Paki-unmute, uh, pakisabihin na lang, or paki-chat. Paano ba ina-arrange yung ano? Kasi may rule yan, eh. may gaap yan, no? Generally uh, accepted accounting principles. Paano pinipresent yung, yung asset sa balance sheet? According to? Guys, according to? Any answer, guys? Paano ina-arrange ang, ang assets sa balance sheet? Clue. Letter L, guys. Letter L. Sir, is it liquid? Yes. Thank you. Sino to? Pakisabi yung pangalan. Sino yun? Oh, sir. Sino? Matt. Matt, Matt. Okay, Matt, thank you so much. You're correct, Matt. No? It's according to liquidity. So, tingnan natin to guys. Ha? Sino ba yung pinaka-liquid dito? Siyempre, si Cash, siya ng number one. Pangalawa, si Marketable Securities. Si markets, Marketable Securities, short-term investment yan. No? Short-term investment yan. So, kunyari, treasury bills. No? Marketable Securities yan. And then, pagkatapos nun, receivables. Kasi nabenta na to, i-co-collect na lang to, no? And then, number four, inventories. And then, number five is prepayments. So, the answer is letter D, itong green. So, four of you got it. So, anong mali sa, ano, sa number 10? Uh, dito sa blue. Si blue is wrong because cash, tapos receivables, no? Medyo na mali tayo dito. Inventories, okay, nabaliktad. Dapat, ano muna, dapat, uh, cash muna tapos marketable securities or sabi natin trade uh, ano to, yung uh, short term investments then. that's another name for that okay so let's uh, now move on to the next one next question okay so si Mario pa rin number one and then meron tayong uh, some changes sa ano sa sa podium finishes natin next question question number 11 networking capital ano ba yung networking capital <music> Okay, so medyo nag medyo magkalapit si ano ano si red mas marami pang sumagot ng blue. Okay, bakit mali si na, si si color blue, si letter B? Kasi ang sabi dito total assets minus current liabilities. It's not total assets, it's current assets, no? <coughs> minus current liabilities. So networking capital in this instance kasi mali tong blue, ito yung mas tamang definition niya, no? It talks about it measures overall liquidity. It's not it's not efficiency, no? It's it's neither is it solvency. <coughs> so mas tama itong liquidity na to. Pero siguro mas direct definition kung current assets na kalagay dito, mas siguro mas direct definition yun ng networking capital because networking capital is equal to your total current assets minus your total current liabilities. Kaso nga lang medyo mali dito. Okay? So 12 of you got it? 
So, nagbago ba? Okay, may, may changes na naman tayo sa podium finishes natin. Ava is the highest climber with uh, seven places. And now, Kailu is uh, nasa top natin ngayon. So, let's move on. Let's see. Question number 12. The one fixed asset that's not depreciated is... Almost all of you got it. Tama. Ang hindi lang nadidepreciate guys, si land. Okay. So, syempre, si cash, hindi naman nadidepreciate ang cash. no? Inventories, hindi. Ang nadidepreciate lang guys are fixed assets. So, ang pwede lang madepreciate dito si equipment. Okay. The, uh, tsaka fixed asset kasi yung tinatanong. Ano? Ang fixed asset lang natin dito si equipment. <laughs> and also, <clears throat> only fixed assets are depreciable. Hindi na de-depreciate guys yung ano natin yung mga current assets natin. So si land hindi to na de-depreciate na fixed asset. Okay? So 16 of you got it? Okay? So yan gumagalaw-galaw yung ato, yung positions natin dito si Kylo pa rin yung number 1. Let's go to the next question, question number 13. Blank flows result from debt and equity financing transactions. <laughs> Correct, financing, no? So, quick review. Pag sinabi natin operating, yung galaw nito, yung mga current assets at saka current liabilities, no? Uh, movement ni receivable, movement ni inventory, movement ng mga prepayments, ng accounts payable, lahat to part of operations, operating activities. Pag investing naman, di ba sabi natin, <clears throat> any movement in, uh, in fixed assets. Kunyari, purchase ng equipment, purchase ng building, Selling ng building, okay? uh, investing yan. Yung galaw naman sa financing, sa debt at saka sa equity, that, that forms part of, as we said, financing. So 10 of you got it? Okay, tingnan natin kung ano yung mga scores natin ngayon. Nagbago ba? Not so much. Uh, Kailu has the highest answer streak of 4. Okay, number 1 din si Kailu. Next, okay, question number 14. Associated with the purchase sale of fixed assets and business in Okay, so purchase ng fixed asset, <clears throat> investing yan. No, hindi siya operating guys. Ha? Sabi natin kanina, pag operating, yung galaw ng mga current assets at current liabilities. No? So yung mga fi fixed assets sa mga long-term assets sa investing yan. Okay, so next, let's see. 13 of you got it. May galaw ba? Okay, wala masyadong galaw dito. Si Kylo pa rin number one. Si Clement has the high, is the highest climber. Six places. Okay? So, sige, galingan natin guys para makapasok tayo sa, ano, sa podium finish. Next, question number 15. They appear in the income statement but does not, do not actually out of cash. Most of you got it. That's good. Non-cash charges. No? Mga expenses, so na wala namang, wala namang talagang outlay ng cash. Example guys, can you think of an example? Please give me an example of a non-cash expense. Any example? What did you learn in your accounting subject? Ano ba example ng isang expense siya pero wala namang talaga linalabas na pera? Kasi karamihan naman ng mga expenses, may cash na lumalabas doon. No? Example, uh, utilities expense, salaries expense, uh, transportation expense, <clears throat> supplies expense. Lahat ng mga yan, naglalabas ng pera yan, outlay. So, example guys, paki-unmute na lang. 
Okay. Uh, amortization, EVA. Uh, pwede rin. O, tama si EVA, no? amortization usually ng mga patents, goodwill. So, pwede yan. Non-cash, uh, expansion. Pati yung sinabi ni Mark, tama din. No? Pati ni Mario. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Tama kayo. No? Sabi ni EVA, amortization. Amortization of intangible assets, they are non-cash expenses. Also, depreciation ng fixed assets, they are non-cash expense. Pag sinabi mong depreciation expense na 10,000, it's not as if naglabas ka ng 10,000 na ano, na cash, no? So they, these are non-cash charges and 19 of you got it? That's very good. Okay? So nag oh, may may changes na naman tayo dito. So Gail is now number 1. Okay. Uh Bea, highest climber, three places. Okay, let's go to the next question, question number 16. So five more questions. Okay, so very good. 18 of you got it. So, yung purchase ng equipment or sale ng equipment, dun papasok yan sa investing. Pero, yung gain, kunyari binenta, tapos nagkaroon ng gain or loss, dun siya papasok sa operating. Okay? Gain or loss on the sale of equipment. Nasa operating siya. 18 of you got it? Very good. So, okay, meron na naman tayong change. Naglalaro-laro yung ating ano, si Hazel naman ang number one ngayon. Okay, followed by Gail, Kylo, Mario, and Pia. Uh, three pairs of bridge answers stick. Five. Limang sunod-sunod na tamang answers. Okay, next question. You have four more questions. Increase in prepayment is a... Okay, oops, only five, got it? First question guys, anong klaseng account si prepayment? Liability ba yan, equity ba yan, o asset ba yan? Anyone? Okay, paki-unmute na lang guys ha, para hindi na ako magbukas ng, ano, ng chat kung pepede. Okay, correct, asset to, no? current asset. Ano ba yung prepayment? <clears throat> ano ba yung prepayment guys? Ang prepayment is advance payment, kunyari prepaid rent. Hindi pa natin nakukonsume yung rent pero nabayad na natin. So it's an asset. So pag nag-increase daw yung prepayment, ano nangyayari? nag increase yung advance payment natin. So gumamit tayo ng cash. And it's part of operating. Sorry for the wrong spelling. No? Part of operating activity yan kasi current asset yan. Eh. So it's a in, uh, an increase in prepayment means nagdagdag tayo ng bayad. Nag-advance payment tayo. No? So gumamit tayo ng cash hindi pumasok yung cash. No? So it's not part of financing. Okay, prepayment is not part of financing. It's part of operating. And gumamit tayo ng cash kasi nagdagdag tayo ng prepayment, ng prepaid. Okay? So five got it. Okay, let's see. Ano yung result? Nagbago ba? Okay, walang masyadong bago. Combo breaker, three players just dropped their answer streak. Uh, five. Five consecutive. No, That's very good. So la last Last three questions, question 18. Issue ones of preferred stock is? All right, eight of you got it. Okay, unang-una, preferred stock. San gagalaw, guys, kapag preferred stock? financing, no? Ba sabi natin kapag yung nasa equity account, yung common stock, yung preferred stock, that's related to financing. Okay? O kaya long-term debt. Kasi, uh, remember, yung assets is equal to liabilities plus equity. Yung financing natin doon, it can come in the form of yung equity side at saka yung uh, liability side. So, pag nag-issue guys ang preferred stock, or for that matter, common stock, ano nangyayari? The firm is inviting more investors. So the issue ones of a preferred stock or e, uh, or common stock means that nag, uh, nag tumanggap sila ng more investors so tumanggap sila ng cash okay 
So it's a source of cash for financing. Mali yung number 11 kasi investing, hindi part of investing yan. Di ba ang investing, yung mga fixed assets yun. Okay? Yung uh, source ng funding, common stock, preferred stock, that will form part of your financing. Okay? So mali din si number 2, uh, hindi nag-use of cash. No? Although financing siya, kaso hindi tayo gumamit ng cash. Pag nag-issue yung company ng preferred stock, ibig sabihin, tumanggap siya ng panibago mga investors. So it's a source of cash. Okay, so eight of you got it. Let's see if there's change. Okay, naglalaro-laro guys yung sa mga podium finishes natin. Christian, highest climber, three places up. No? <clears throat> okay, so next question. We have two more questions. Question number 19. Nabay, nagbenta ng Jollibee no? to a broker. Ano to? Okay, very good. Most of you got it, no? So, uh, by next week, guys, pag-aaralan natin yung markets, iba't ibang markets. Kanina nasabi ko, di ba, yung money market, capital markets, meron ding primary market, may secondary market din. Meron ding futures market, no? So, uh, by next week, guys, I hope meron na tayong a bit of an appreciation kung ano ba yung mga financial markets that's, that's out there. So, 18 of you got it? Okay, so let's see kung may changes sa ano. Oops, naglalaro-laro. Kylo still uh, uh, is the top. Tapos si Hazel, Gail, Mario, and then Richard. Uh, Basti, highest climber, three places. Last question, guys. And this is an easy question. Last question. Shows the number of new shares issued by a firm. Okay, very good. Most of you got it. I'm so happy. Last question. 20 of you got it. Tama kayo, no? Yung uh, new issues of shares, hindi natin makikita yan dun sa balance sheet, sa income statement, at sa cash, and sa cash flow. It can be seen in the statement of changes in shareholders' equity. Okay, let's see. Okay, next. Tapos na game, ano? Let's see who are the podium finishers. Third place, 11 out of 20 correct answers. Si Mario, si Gail, 12 out of 20. And then, number one, si Kailu, 12 out of 20 then, no? Uh, Nagkataw lang siguro yung sa team ng ano. Ava and uh, Vendors, okay? Runner up. Okay, so all of you guys will get your points. Ipopost ko sa canvas natin para alam nyo rin kung mag ilan yung uh, uh, correct points na nakuha nyo, no? And then, ang gagawin natin, guys, sa sum up natin lahat yan, and then, kukunin natin yung percentage. Okay? I'm not yet decided. Kunyari, 95% and above, that, that means 5%. Pero I might adjust. No? I might adjust. I will always do it in your favor. Okay? Para sa benefit nyo. Okay, so let's go back to our discussion. Sabi natin, guys, ang discussion natin ngayon is introduction to financial management. So let me flash our PowerPoint slides. So what do we expect from this? Uh, from the next two weeks, we're going to zero in on uh, the following topics. Number one, ano ba yung role ng financial management and who are the people involved in the function of finance in a company? <coughs> Ang alam pa lang natin so far, siguro naririnig na natin yung, uh, yung uh, CFO, uh, Chief Financial Officer, or even the Financial Manager. Tapos meron ding my controller then, my, uh, my treasury. These people are, although si controller guys, medyo sa accounting side siya, pero still, they are related to the function of finance. Okay, so we're going to look at ano-ano ba yung mga ibang klase ng financial institutions, financial instruments, financial markets. Kanina, tinignan natin, nagkaroon tayo ng example ng financial instruments. Ano example ng financial instruments? Treasury bills, treasury bonds, no? bankers acceptance, okay? commercial paper, Okay, these are stocks. No? These are examples of financial instruments. Tapos, tumingin din tayo sa financial markets. May, may mga 
some examples tayo, di ba? Money markets, capital markets, futures market, okay? primary market, secondary market, forex market, stock stock market, marami pang iba, guys. These are the things that we're going to look at uh, next meeting. Tapos, ito yung more specific focus on institutions, no? Uh, ano ba Ano ba iba't ibang klase ng financial institutions and what services do they provide? Then we're also going to look at, as I mentioned a while ago, yung iba't ibang klase ng financial instruments. And then, uh, sa last ng module na to, titignan natin yung flow of funds. Okay, yung flow of funds yan, sa markets yan, no? Sa markets yan nangyayari. Okay, and then the role of finance in making sure that a company has sufficient funds. Kung saan siya magtatap, kukuha ng uh, funds na kailangan ng company. Okay? So, let's start with the first question. What is the main objective of any business? No, kanina, tinanong ko to dun sa, ano natin, si, sa Kahoot. No? Uh, tapos, ang sabi natin, uh, ang most of you answered that the, the objective of a business should be profit, profit maximization. Sabi natin, profit maximization or corollary, corollary to this is cost Minimization. So, may mga companies na uh, ang ano talaga nila is to really squeeze on the cost. No? Or, ang ibang companies naman market-oriented sila, uh, customer-centric, so customer satisfaction. And among others, no? among others the objectives. Okay, sabi natin na, guys, there will be a problem if this becomes the main objective of the organization. Okay? We're not saying that these objectives are wrong. They are important objectives. Profit maximization, siyempre, kung walang profit, paano, paano magiging sustainable yung isang business? Pag hindi ka nagko-cost minimization, baka ang daming waste stage, ang daming mga processes, uh, internal processes ng company na uh, kasi hindi tinitina ng, uh, ng, let's say, ng, uh, ng finance, no? yung mga wasteful practices, na de-drain yung profit tuloy kasi related yung dalawa no kahit na taas ka ng taas ng sales pero kung yung yung mga unnecessary cost naman yung waste stages taas ng taas din sayang lang yung ano yung potential profit okay and then sa kung marketing centric naman guys customer satisfaction very important yung customer satisfaction siyo nagsabing hindi importante yan very important yan but my main question is what should be the main objective of any business? And sabi natin, the main objective should be to maximize shareholder value. Ang ibig sabihin ng shareholder value, guys, yung stock price. <clears throat> yun ang ibig sabihin yung stock price. For example, <coughs> is Jollibee <coughs> able to maximize shareholder value? I, I remember dati, nag-invest nag na ako sa Jollibee when I was still younger. No? Uh, Invest ako, if I'm not mistaken, how much was, hindi ko lang maalala, pero 15 plus, 20 plus yata per share, yung nabili ko. Okay. Uh, uh, hindi ko lang maalala guys. At pero there was a time two years ago na naging 300 na yan. Okay. So what happened? They were maximizing shareholder value. Tina, natataas yung stock price. And because of this guys, happy, cost, happy investors talaga yan. Kasi imagine kung binili mo siya at 15 Tapos ngayon, at 300 plus na yung, yung value ng stock na yun. Okay? So that's what we call value creation. Okay? That's what we call value, creating value, value creation. On the contrary, guys, kung bumababa yung stock price ng company, it's called value destruction. Okay? So ob the objective should be to create value for the shareholders and its maximization of shareholder value. Let me just discuss with you uh, some uh, possible na, ano, na arguments against this. Kasi sabi natin, di ba, ang main objective should be uh, maximize shareholder value. That, does, that, does that mean na hindi na dapat may na-maximize si profit or si not satisfy si customers? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying important objectives din yan, pero ang main objective should be maximizing shareholder wealth. Importante ba yung satisfaction of customers? Yes. You bet, guys. Customers bring in a lot to the company. Without the customers, <coughs> ano yung reason deter ng isang business? Ano yung re reason for being niya? Bakit pa siya andi dyan, guys, kung, kung it will only destroy, uh, it, will, it will not live 
live up to the expectations of the customers. Uh, there are six competitive advantages that customers can bring the company. For example, repeat buying. Ito yung mga repeat customers yung kasi nag nagustuhan nila yung service nyo. Bili sila ng bali. Bili sila ng bili. And they are, they are less price sensitive. Ang ibig sabihin ng less price sensitive, kahit na kailangan magtaas ng price yung company, hindi basta-basta aalis yung, ano, yung customer. Unlike yung iba na price sensitive, na hindi naman loyal talaga, uh, konting taas lang ng price ng, ano, ng, ng service or product ng company, lilipat na yan. Okay. Mga, mga, mga magkakabilang bahay na yan. Okay? Okay, so pupunta na sila sa ibang providers. Loyalty in crisis, that this is what I, I'm saying. <laughs> Pag uh, kahit anong mangyari, guys, okay, doon at doon pa rin bibili yung, yung customers. And this one, the very important word of mouth, ito free advertising to. Especially ngayon, guys, alam naman natin sa social media, no? Pag sinabi natin sa social media, million-million ka agad nakakakita niyan. Diba? Uh, remember, recently, si, ano, si Jollibee, diba? Diba? Yung, uh, yung tuwalya Chicken Joy. May Chicken Joy ka na, may tuwalya ka pa, di ba? So, ang laking, ang laking kasi siraan sa, sa Jollibee. And it's because of the word of mouth then. <coughs> well, <coughs> sa, ang context na inaano ko na ito, guys, yung <coughs> customer satisfaction. But it can go either way, di ba? Yung social media ngayon, pwedeng masira yung company or ma-reinforce yung galing ng company. Okay, and this one, guys, pwede rin one-stop shopping. Ito yung tinatawag natin na cross-selling. <coughs> cross-sell. Ano ibig sabihin ng cross-sell? <laughs> you you have loyal customers. Dali guys, let me just get a glass of water. All right, cross selling. You have a company that is selling a particular product. You have loyal customers. Pwede mong ibenta sa kanya other products. <clears throat> Hindi lang yung product na yun. So that's cross selling. <laughs> And then, of course, yung uh, uh, product innovation. Marami din product innovation can be caused by because of the needs of your customers. Okay, so these are the things that customers bring. And if you have satisfied customers, you have profits, you have good corporate per performance, and you have growth. <laughs> so the, ito yung mga result, guys, kung satisfied yung customers, no? Uh, I'd like to ask you one one a question, guys. <clears throat> yung link sa kahut? Oh, okay, sige, sige. Okay, Hans. Sa, sabi ni Hans, yung link sa kahut. <clears throat> sige, iaano ko na. Or better still, iano, pwede ko naman iano siguro yung mga questions doon para ma-review nyo. Okay? So, thank you for that request, Hans. Okay, sige. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, as I was saying, guys, satisfied customers bring prof break in profits for the uh, company break in growth and this is a very positive mark on their corporate performance can can uh, let's think of companies that have that have uh, earned uh, really good customer satisfaction loyalty of customers can you think of companies like that guys <clears throat> can you think of a uh, tesla po <laughs> you know, Tesla. Ah, Tesla. Sino to? Sino yung uh, sumagot? Si Kailu po. Kailu. Sige, paki-explain nga. Okay, si Tesla. <coughs> Electric cars. Well, yeah. Si, uh, si, uh, no, si, uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> si, uh, oh, si, si Elon Musk. Okay. Si, what about uh, Tesla? Well, I think that they have really good uh, customer satisfaction. Okay. Right? And they're very uh, innovative with their products, you know. Yeah. And I don't... I don't think there's a company out there like Tesla that can even ho hold a candle to what they have achieved. Wow. Right? I like, I love and also, they spend no money. They spend no money on marketing, right? They have mm -hmm. uh, okay. only, only through word of mouth. Yeah, no. Yeah. Kailu, no? Kailu ba? Uh, yes, Bob. Yeah. Kailu, thank you so much. No? Uh, very good, very good answer. Well said. No? Sabi ni Kailu. Uh, meron din, may advertising din ng ano, ang Tesla, pero not, not so much, no? Kasi yung mga customers na nila mismo, mismo yung nag-word eh, nag of mouth. Eh. <laughs> and that's very powerful. So Tesla is a very good example of, a, of a, a company that really earned loyalty among the customers. Okay, sino pa? Sino pa guys? Meron, meron pang gusto mag-share? 
Okay, any other example of a company that has uh, uh, really... Uh, ang question, Basti, ano, can you give an example of a company that has really earned loyalty? Yung kitang-kita siya, very apparent siya. <coughs> and, this, uh, uh, and the products or services they provide has really earned customer loyalty and customer satisfaction. Hello po. Yes, sino to? Um, Ken po. Ken, sige Ken. I would say Amazon po. Amazon, okay. Si Amazon, distributor, no? Sige, uh, can you explain further? Um, because I've researched po in one of their goals and their goals customer satisfaction because um, without the customers po, the company won't run as good. Okay, yeah, thank you, no? Thank you. Amazon is also uh, a good example of customer, a, a term that has uh, earned customer satisfaction. No? Kasi uh, it, it made shopping really very, very convenient. Uh, medyo may downside nga lang ng konti itong si Amazon. No? Kasi ang problema naman nila, yung sa internal customers sa Manila, yung sa mga staff. No? Kasi ang daming complaints siya ng Amazon about inhumane treatment of their staff. So magandang pag-aralan din yung dimension na yun, ano? We can be very, very uh, loyal to our customers. Tapos we really provide very good services. On the other hand, uh, it's possible na nakakalimutan natin yung internal customer natin, which are our employees. But that's another, that's another uh, uh, topic to discuss. But I agree. I agree with uh, Kim, tama Kim, ano? Na, na Amazon. It's a very good example of uh, a company that has gained uh, co uh, good customer following. And last example, let's ask Hazel. Hazel, sabi, at saka si Ava pala. No? Sorry, Ava. Uh, ikaw pala una nagsabi ng Apple at saka si Hazel. Sige, let's, uh, may I request uh, si Ava muna tapos sundan na lang ni Hazel. What about Apple, Ava? What's so um, special think... about Apple? Yeah, I think Apple for the smartphone industry, they really have good um, customer satisfaction because, uh, for example, me, I'm an Apple user, so I buy all my um, gadgets in Apple. Mm -hmm. And siguro durability and, you know, all those technical stuff. And also, I like their customer service and I like their advertising. Um, yeah. I think it's really um, beneficial to their business. Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, Apple is a very good example of uh, of that, no? Uh, anin ko lang basi si Hazel and then I'll recognize you. Uh, good, would you like to add on that, yung sinabi ni Eva, Hazel? Kasi pareho kayong Apple. Siguro Apple, Apple user ka rin, no? Um, I think when it comes to Apple, Apple is able to give the customer um, what they need. For example, if you compare Apple to Nokia, Nokia back then is a very popular phone because yeah. it's the very first phone without an antenna. So the reason why Nokia uh, Nokia was Nokia fell out of the market was that it was not able to satisfy customer needs in terms of trend trends. Yeah. So I feel like in a way Apple has was able to cater to this need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree, no? I agree. Uh, you know, no, <clears throat> pag maglalabas ng bagong <clears throat> model si Apple, uh, pag opening day, uh, nung wala pang COVID, ah, dati talagang it will, uh, ang, ang queue niyan, it will reach kilometers, no? So, ang dami mag-queue dyan just to get an Apple, ano, an Apple uh, item. <clears throat> I agree with you, no? Okay, so, thank you, Ava. Thank you, Hazel. <laughs> Uh, customer satis customer service, mag magaling ano quality of the product, very okay. Huh? Tapos so Basti, you were raising your hand. Uh, si Basti at saka mayroon pang isa. Huh? Yes, sir. If I may add lang bang kay Ava and Hazel. Yeah, go uh, ahead. What Basti. also makes what also has what also what Apple also does to achieve sat customer satisfaction is that their ability to make their software user friendly. So like. Because every now and then, Apple like updates its software to make it some sort of like uh, user-oriented. So they like try and find ways to find innovative ideas or they, 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 they innovative ideas on how it would be much, it would lessen the hassle for 
Apple users to use their devices, and it would def- that would play one. That would be a signif- That would be a part that would significantly uh, affect customer satisfaction, yeah, the user friendly experience or user friendly software. Yes. Okay. So ease of use, no? Yun yung utility na madaling magamit, madaling madaling uh, maadapt na mga customers. So these are factors that uh, that can be said really help uh, customer satisfaction. Basi may sa sabing kapag ba? Ayo ah, kaniya yon ano? Wala na po sir. That's okay, it. Okay, sige. Thank you, Basti. Uh, so last example si Johan. Marami si nabi dito si Johan. Ano yung mga luxury brands na ano na Louis Vuitton, Moet Hennessy, LVMH, si, pati si SM si naman ni Johan pati Ferrari. Okay, what do you say about this, Johan? Um, in my opinion, po kasi these companies po already made a name for their brand to the point po that people are basically crazed for their products, mm-hmm. even if yeah. their prices are unreasonably expensive. Magen and yes. ba? Like people are still vying to get products from them. Example po Ferrari. Mm-hmm. Not anyone mm-hmm. can buy a Ferrari. May mga requirements pa po yung mga pwede okay. bumili ng Ferrari. Mm-hmm. They need to show, they actually need to prove their loyalty po just to be able to buy a Ferrari. Correct. That's brand new. Oh. And, uh-huh. ano po, and with products like Gucci and Louis Vuitton, um, people don't even, uh, these companies don't even market their products anymore. Mm-hmm. Parang they just show commercials showcasing their products but they don't really try to sell it to you because they know that people will come to their store oh. or something. Uh, imagine a company even refusing ano? <clears throat> refusing a particular customer because it, 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 it does not match the status because eh? they are maintaining a particular status that's correct no you just can't buy uh, luxury items like this because number one although ang, ang expensive because in a word relative yan, eh? For some, uh, it might it might not really be expensive. So very relative yung expensive. But generally, guys, ito mga items ato these are quite expensive, no? <clears throat> so they they don't actually sell the product; they sell the status. Okay. So ibig sabihin kung merong kanyan, imagine uh, I, I'm uh, hindi ko na susundan yung ano ano yung yung mga bagong uh, bagong uh, uh, how do you call it? Bagong models ni Ferrari. But imagine, pag, pag uh, dito sa Metro Manila, for example, uh, nagda-drive ka, tapos biglang may, may, may katabi kang yung pinaka-latest brand ni Ferrari. Uh, talagang lahat kayong mapapatingin. Tapos sasabihin nyo na, wow, itong taon to, he has arrived. No? Medyo iba yung status itong taon to. Kasi you're, you're speaking of a, stat, of a status, eh, pag, pag dadadala mo yung, anong yun, yung, yung brand na yun, no? Okay, we'll continue talking about brands next week, no? Because I'd like to say something more about that. <clears throat> Very important, yun sa ano sa sa pag uh, discuss natin about business. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for those ano. I I really enjoy, guys, yung mga yung mga sharing natin. Uh, it really makes my ano. It really makes my <clears throat> my uh, day really uh, very good. Because I I learn I learn dun sa mga insights nyo. Ang gaganda ng mga insights nyo, guys. Kaya maraming maraming salamat. Okay, so let let me just continue with, with this. Okay, so I already mentioned this. <clears throat> uh, customer satisfaction is very important. They bring in profits, they bring in growth, and then it stabilizes corporate performance. And this this is because satisfied customers, loyal customers, uh, do repurchase. No, mga buy buy again customers too, eh. and we can engage in cross selling with them. And they uh, they reduce price sensitivity, and also the very important word of mouth, no? word of mouth. All right. So here are some reasons why it should not be profit maximization. Why wealth maximization or shareholder value maximization is more important than you know, than uh, uh, than or is the uh, is the acceptable way to do business as compared to is the main objective. I mean, no. To uh, profit maximization. Now, sabi dito guys, ito, the operative word here, pag profit maximization, paramount yung profits. Okay. Importante ba yung profits? Yes, guys. Yes. Uh, don't get me wrong. Huh? 
profits are important. However, not at the expense of other factors. No? Kunyari, pag profit maximization kasi nagiging myopic yung pananaw, yung view, tapos sometimes to the detriment of the uh, future growth of the company in the sense that yung mga discretionary expenditures tatanggalin. Bakit? Kasi, oy, ano na, board of trustees meeting or shareholders meeting na. So kailangan pag, ano, pag December 31, uh, 2021, kailangan grabe yung profit natin. So how do we do this? Increase sales or <clears throat> pag hindi na talaga natin may increase sales, cut back on discretionary expenses. Ano yung discretionary? Pag sinabing discretionary, yung may discretion, yung pwede, yung, uh, yung pwedeng ano yung management, no? pwedeng tanggalin. And usually, pag may discretionary expenditures na ganyan, guys, there are favorite items na tinatanggal ng management. They cut back on that. Example, training. Investing in people through training. Pag ang perspective ng company is more of profit maximization, tanggal yung mga discretionary expenses, expenditures like training. Okay. And fail, uh, which is a failure of a realization that yung investing in people, training, talent management, HR management, guys, is key to long-term growth. Okay. Imagine, guys, marami ng cases ng ganito. Nag-cut back ang company sa training. So, may mga frontliners ka. <clears throat> okay? So, galitong customer, pinagmumura yung frontliner. As if frontliner untrained, pinagmumura din si customer. There goes your customer. <laughs> Patay. No? Unlike may mga companies guys na talagang nasa heart nila, nasa puso nila na talagang dapat mag invest ng, mm -hmm. ng training sa mga tao. Invest in people development. So, pag ganun, well-trained yung staff, minumura-mura ng customer, Anong sagot? Thank you so much, sir, for your concern. Tapos marunong, marunong sumagot. Trained kasi, guys. And what happens? Nai-impress yung customer uh, oftentimes, tapos hindi umalis yung customer. So, hindi nag-hemorrhage, guys, yung, ano, yung, yung company ng, uh, pag sinabing hemorrhage, natatanggalan, no? Natatanggalan ng, ano, ng mga customers. Okay, let me just illustrate, guys. Have you heard of the leaky bucket theory? Sulat ko lang kasi baka makalimutan ko, no? Leaky Leak. Leaky bucket theory. Okay. Ano yung leaky, leaky bucket theory? So you have here a bucket, no? Okay. So you have inflow of uh, <clears throat> nag invest yung company sa ano, in getting more customers. Eh, ang laki-laki naman ng loophole dyan, ng butas. So kahit na anong expenditure sa gawin para marketing, promote, 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 etc., get more more customers pero, pero internal processes ng company naman is prone to leakage no kasi dissatisfied customers hindi marunong yung ano yung frontliner yung staff na yung after sale service hindi marunong well, wala rin guys wala rin and it happens because mi, misan short sighted yung company ang focus talaga, talaga nila just cutting back on the discretionary expenses now pag wealth maximization guys it's more long term so things like advertising, research, no? Research, sasabihin na, iba, hindi naman kailangan na research. Pwede naman i-ano na yan, tanggalin na lang yan. Not knowing that the, uh, a good research can help the company have good decision making. And a company on, in general that focuses on wealth maximization treats this as investments no? and not expenditures. Unlike yung mga companies na short-sighted na ang tinitinan lang profit maximization. Again, guys, nothing wrong with profit maximization as long as it is in its place. As long as ang context nito uh, subsumed siya under a, uh, a long-term growth instead of just a, uh, just a short-term growth. Yun ang problema kapag talagang profit maximization lang na short-term lang yung tingin. Okay, next. Ito, importante din to, guys. No? And I think it, dito na ako mag-end sa example na to kasi... I think I'll be needing mga 10 minutes for this. No? A firm, guys, is, is exposed to risk. No? <clears throat> a firm is exposed to several types of risk. Ano yung mga risk na yun? Maraming types of uh, risk, guys, ang isang business. No? Example, may economic risk. Inflation, pagtaas ng... Uh, these are risks that are outside the control of the business. No? Economic risk yan. Inflation, tapos meron din, uh, let's say, uh, uh, market risk. No? May market risk then. The risk that the product will not be patronized by your, by the market, bagong product, 
uh, inintroduce sa market, hindi naman nag-fly. No? That's a market risk. <coughs> okay, meron ding uh, financial risk. No? In general, may financial risk, may interest rate risk, merong foreign currency risk. Okay? Uh, so many types of risk, guys. We can go on and on and on and on. Ang daming klaseng risk. So, a firm, a good finance team, should hedge. No? Okay? Hedge. Ito yung operative word natin, hedge. Yung hedge, guys, parang, uh, in a sense, parang bakod siya. No? Bakod siya. That will protect a firm from the onslaught of different types of risk. Of course, we cannot really 100% foolproof a company from, from these types of risk. Pero at least, pwede ma-hedge. No? So let me cite. Let me give this example. Okay, mali ha. Magandang tingin si, oops, layout na lang. Ayan. So suppose guys, we're engaged in a business where uh, ang, ginag, ang, ang natin, ang pinaka raw material is oil. Okay, so this is our firm. So oil yung ano natin, oil yung yung raw material natin. Oops. Sorry for that. No? Oil, no? Oil. And uh, today is July 1. Sorry, ah. Uh, Imposition ng ano ko ng... Uh, okay, let me just fix my... Yan, July 1 ngayon, no? July 1. And uh, ang price yata ng Brent crude ngayon, mga $75, okay? Per barrel. Okay, uh, <clears throat> paubos yung inventory natin. So, uh, ang tansya natin, mauubos yung inventory yan by December 31. No? So, this, sa December 31, kakailangan natin ng fresh stock ng 1 million barrels. 1 million barrels of oil. Okay, so ano gagawin natin? Okay, kung wala tayong gagawin, ganito mangyayari. So, hintay natin December 31. Okay, ang problema nung December 31, bibili na tayo ng oil sa spot market, no? So that's called the spot market. On the spot tayo bibili. Ang presyo ng oil now, at that time, sabihin natin $200. Okay, what happened guys? As the finance people, you just help the company lose $125 per barrel. Kasi yung oil nyo, raw material nyo yan, hindi, hindi nyo hinedge yung company. Hindi, nyo, hindi kayo na risk planning. Okay? So pag profit maximization minsan yung ano ang ang focus don't mind the hedges kasi gastos lang yan eh. Basta ang objective natin uh, ma-cut back on cost para tumaas yung profit. Not realizing na nabblind side tayo na a company is uh, exposed to several types of risk. Kasama to no. <clears throat> Kasama to yung price yung price risk. Which is an example of ma of a market risk. Okay? So uh, lugi ka so, siguro, lugi yung company. In fact, so, siguro, prepare your resignation letter already the following day. Kasi, sabi ng board of directors, anong ginawa nyo? Bakit naka-expose tayo sa price risk ng oil? E, main component natin yan, tapos wala kayong ginawa. Bakit? Ano ba yung pwedeng gawin? No? Kasi, guys, meron tayong tinatawag na, ano, na derivatives market. No? Ano ba yung derivatives market? Ito yung tinatawag natin na Derivatives is a financial asset okay, whose value is based on an underlying asset. Okay? Uh, uh, it's okay not to understand this at, as of the moment, okay? but I would encourage you to look at, uh, look at resources. Ano ba yung derivatives? Example nito guys, forwards. <clears throat> May forwards tayo, meron tayong futures. Okay? Meron tayong futures, meron tayong swaps. Meron tayong options. These are the basic examples of derivatives. I'll just focus on two. Okay. So, pwede sana natin ginawa na pumunta tayo sa futures market. Future, guys, is a market where you can buy commodities or other items to be delivered in the future. Pero yung price nakapeg ngayon. So, kunyari, pumunta tayo sa futures market. Tapos, the Brent crude is selling at, sabihin natin, example lang, uh, uh, let's say, $80 to be delivered December 31, no? Nag-contract tayo nito, 1 million barrels of oil. Okay. So at least, guys, na-hedge yung, ano, na yung, uh, yung, yung oil natin. 
Come December 31, come December 31, ano nangyari? Spot price was 200. Okay, so hero ka. Hero ka kasi makakabili kayo ng $80 na barrel kasi hinedge mo na yung company, yung company by engaging in, a fu- in the futures market. So December 31, since nag-contract kontrata na kayo ngayon July 1 na may magde-deliver ng 1 million barrel of oil uh, barrels of oil on December 31 safe kayo okay you were able to hedge the uh, company from the increase in prices na naging 200 alam naman natin na very volatile yung oil prices so hero ba tayo guys you agree na hero tayo as finance paki-check nga guys kung hero tayo Kasi na-save natin yung company sa spot market noong December 31, 200 na. Pero nakapag-contract tayo ng $80 lang sa futures market noong July 1. So, hero ba? Paki, ano nga guys? Paki uh, chat kung yes. Hero, H-E-R-O. Hero ba tayo guys? Kasi na-save natin yung company sa, ano eh, sa fluctuation ng price ng oil. Okay, any answer guys? Paki chat naman kung naintindihan nyo example kung hero ba tayo, nakatulong ba tayo sa company. Walang sumasagot? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Not... Yes, sir. Yes? Oo. Anong answer, guys? Hero ba tayo? Okay, ang question ko na lang, sige, naiintindi, naiintindihan nyo ba yung example ko na binigay? Chat please kung yes or no. Okay, I'm not getting any response. Bakit kaya? Not that much. Okay, sige. So, uh, yung iba, guys. Okay. Don't think it's as much as the original. Okay. Uh, so, uh, guys, yung answer nyo, paki ano, paki to everybody. No? Okay. So, sige, it's, it's already time, guys. So, i-expound ko na lang later on to. Ang sinasabi lang natin dito, kailangan natin ng oil, 1 million ba- barrels on December 31. So, ang ginawa natin dito, nagkontrata tayo sa futures market na bibili tayo ng oil at $80 per barrel to be delivered on December 31, yung 1 million, dar- 1 million barrels of oil. Okay, fast forward guys, December 31. December 31 na, ang spot market price is $200. Pero meron tayong nabili na $80. Di ba? Kasi nag-contract tayo sa futures market. Eh. Bibili tayo ang delivery ng December 31. So nakatulong ba tayo sa company? Yes, guys. Yes. Kasi kung hindi tayo nag-futures market, eh di, ang pagbili natin sa December 31, di $200 per barrel na yan. Yun ang ibig sabihin nung guys. Okay? Nakasave tayo. Kasi tinulungan natin yung company, nag- nag-hedge tayo by going to the futures market, which is an example of a derivative. Derivative siya, guys. So naka-hedge tayo sa company. Okay? However, guys, uh, sorry for this one last minute, it could have been, it, it could have gone the reverse. Paano kung December 31, ang spot market ng oil, naging ano na lang, $15? Paano yun? Uh, goat tayo, guys. Billing tayo kasi nag-contract tayo ng $80, eh naging, naging $15 na lang, bumaba yung price ng oil. Okay? So, delikado din guys yung futures market. So, ang ginagawa ng iba, they don't engage in futures, they engage in options. Options, ang nangyayari dito, you do not buy the oil, you buy the option to buy the oil. Okay? So, ang nangyayari dyan, uh, ang nangyayari dyan, you either exercise the option later on or not. Okay? So, it's already time guys. I'm sorry for the uh, extension. Uh, we're, going to be, we're going to continue with this next meeting. Okay? So, thank you so much. I'll end the uh, recording already.